Right, you okay, everyone? So this is the second bid for the third lesson, I think. Um, so I've got, oh, look at this, you know. So I've got rearranges for tan, and I've got sine squared plus cos squared as well. So these are the ones where I'm going to use tan x, so sine x over cos x, and sine squared x plus cos squared x as well. So I want the cos down there and I want the 2 down there. So I've got sine x over cos x is 3 over 2. So I've got tan x is 3 over 2. So x is the inverse tan of 3 over 2. So I just grab my calculator, go back into menu 1. So I want shift tan 3 over 2. Gives me 0.983, and then menu five. So I'm going to do tan x against three over two. So tan x against three over two. Be careful now, though, because I'm working with tan, but also my axes have changed. So I'm going to do menu 3, so my x min will be minus, uh, we'll just press on, minus pi, my x max will be pi, now because it's tan, oops, because it's tan, I'm going to do minus 5 to 5, and that should hopefully be alright, that'll give me a nice picture. There we go. Then G solve, G solve. I've got X values out of. Minus 2.16 is that. And the 0 0.983. Right. There we go. Right, next one. Straight on good. So I've got this one here now. Remember, it's always the bit with the square bit change. So I've got 1 plus sine x is 2 lots of 1 minus sine squared x. So I've got 1 plus sine x is 2 minus 2 sine squared x. Take it all over as a quadratic. So I'll turn that over to minus 1 is 0. I'm going to do a poly for so menu, oops, equation, poly. So I'm going to do 2, 1, minus 2. 2, 1, minus up 1. 2, 1, minus 1. So I've got a half, and I've got minus 1. So I've got sine x is a half, and sine x is minus 1. So I've got to look at both of these separately, haven't I? So, um, if I do, we can sneak it in here. No, I won't do. So I've got x equals sine to the minus 1 of a half, which I think is 30 degrees. Let's try it. So menu 1, shift, sine, 0 0.5. So if it's 30 degrees, it's 9. <sighs> Oh, shift sign, that's why. So 30 degrees will be pi by 6. There, there we go, pi by 6. And I've got x is inverse sine of minus 1. Which should be pi by 2. Let's try it. So shift sign minus one. So minus a half pi over two. Right then, so let's just graph it again, just move this over here. So I'm doing minus pi to pi, aren't I? Right, so I'm doing menu five. And I'm doing side x. And I'm doing a half from one of them. 
and minus pi to pi. So I'll just change the y values so I can see it better. So minus 1.1 to 1.1. Checking the time. There. Two sol, two sol. So I've got the 0.523. So that would be my pi, the value of pi by 6. So if you look at that picture for a, for a half, if it's pi by 6 in, I could actually do it properly. So I'd have a pi by 6, which is about 0.523. But the other one would be pi, take away pi by 6. So that'd be 5 pi by 6. There. And then if I look at it now for minus 1, Oh, it's only got that one value, isn't it? Minus pi over 2. There you go. Done. Done and dusted. So not too bad. Right, bye-bye.